Well, Adobe just released a new update for their new AI program, which is Adobe Firefly. This time, Adobe Firefly is going to be for video, which is going to introduce a range of effects and let's get into it. So let's take a look at this trailer and break everything down step by step. So one of the first things that I do think many people did actually miss from this trailer, which is a key part, and honestly, this is going to change the way the entire video industry is, is this right here. In the first couple of seconds from the trailer, you can see it says bright, adventurous, cheerful music, okay? And there's a button to generate that. So this is very different than if you had a music sound effect generator, which is what we have in a couple of seconds after, which is right here. You can see this one generates sound effects, but this one is a background music generator, guys. Now, how many of you fellow creators and people who make content on YouTube or people who make content for whatever agency it might be have trouble finding the right music? With this, okay, it seems that Adobe has some new AI software where they can literally generate music based on a few text prompts. So if this is really effective, even if it is just for basic background music, this is going to solve many any different issues for example it might solve copyright issues on youtube it might solve you know i guess you could say some some music ownership issues there are just honestly a ton of different applications for this because i know many people run through many different sites to find royalty free music but if you can just simply generate bright adventurous cheerful music and then it simply just adds it to the background that is going to be a complete game change and you can see right here it generates and it's added to the background and it does sound pretty amazing now what's also interesting is the sound effect generator which is very very important i mean there are some people who do have pre-made sound effects of course there are different packs that you can download online but being able to simply just click and then get a you know a simply entire library of free sound effects that you can use is definitely going to change the way that people do edit and i think this is going to be really good because you know let's say you're editing you know a program what's also cool about this is that you don't need to search for the sound effects now you might be a bit confused here but think about it like this okay what we just saw was someone click sound effects they didn't type in ocean sound effects they clicked find sound effects which means that adobe software is recognizing that okay this is a wave this is a beach so when you click find sound effects what that software is doing is it's realizing what's in the actual video and then it's going to find that and then match that with that you can see right here it says ocean wave beach ambiance ocean foam so you can see that whatever adobe is working on it's also a video identification system so whatever your video editing it's going to be able to identify what your video editing and then suggest the right background music for that or the sound effects which is honestly pretty insane and i didn't realize that at first but when i kept re-watching the trailer i was like okay that is really really cool and you can see right there it adds it at the perfect time and syncs it up and then with this one it also does have some background music that's i guess you could say trees so it identifies that this is a nature shot i'm not exactly sure how there are many different ai tools that actually can do that now especially with gpt4 maybe that's what that's what adobe is using in their products and if you don't know what that is essentially gpt4 is multimodal which means it can identify what's going on in pictures and i think maybe there might be some kind of video version that they haven't released yet that adobe is using to i guess you could say identify what's going on in the scene now what's also cool here is that this is something that we did see previously from another software app called runway essentially where you're able to just use natural language to essentially change what you're seeing on screen you can see right here it says change to a cool morning so essentially what you're doing here is you click this prompt and then once you click generate you can see that instantly changes the entire color scheme and this is honestly going to be really cool because this is something that we honestly do need if you've ever used adobe premiere pro or some of the programs you'll know that color grading is not easy okay it's something that is really really hard to do and so time consuming i mean you know changing the colors changing the dials it's honestly something i've done before but something that i've always had to outsource or able to get in premiere pro and this is something that i struggled with before because sometimes you do have multiple speakers and you don't want multiple pieces of text on screen but you can see right here that you're able to get two different pieces of text transcribed on screen which is really really cool and this is obviously going to be very more more effective because it's going to be able to just create auto captions as you know many softwares are able to do so it's going to be something that is going to expedite the video creation process and something that is really really interesting for people who are making these videos now here what's also cool here is that you can see right here it says 3d molten iron now remember this is for video editing so i'm guessing that what this is this is basically just a 3d text kind of animation so essentially this is going to be some kind of video where you can essentially just input the text that you want to create which is 3d molten iron and then you can simply generate a video based on that text and you can see right here the text is typed in first and then whatever kind of style that you wanted the text in premiere pro goes in and then it animates that for you so that is going to be something that is also very very effective now remember premiere pro is literally one of the best video editing softwares out there and it's literally based on every single large 
um, platform. So this is going to be truly, truly expedited. And I think Adobe are going to win this um, when it does come to combating the other things. Now, this is something also that is very, very crazy that is going to just save so much time. So you can click right here and you can find B-roll. So I'm guessing, okay, what they're doing is they're analyzing the transcript. So essentially, whatever you've said in the video, they're just analyzing the transcript based on what you said. And then essentially, they find the footage that's most relevant. Remember, previously in the video, we discussed how the software has video image identification software. So you can see right here, what it's able to do is say, okay, shoes, then it's able to say chalk and then it's say wall. Okay. So that's what the software is going to do. So it's going to say, I'm putting on my shoes. I'm chalking up. I'm excited to get on the wall. So what it's going to do is it's going to find software that has chalk in it. It's going to find software that has shoes in it. Then it's going to find software that has maybe a wall in it. And then when you click play, you're going to see that it's able to immediately put in the right footage right there. So based on your transcript, it's going to be able to basically edit the video for you, which is absolutely insane. Now, I don't know if that's going to be based on the files that are in your, I guess you could say bin at the moment, which, and, and your bin is essentially just the files in your project. So if it is able to do that, that is going to be absolutely incredible. And that is going to save people so much time. Like honestly, it's going to save people a ridiculous amount of time. So you can see right here, it's able to find and identify the chalk and then able to identify, of course, the wall, which is just going to save people so much time. So you can see right here as well, this one is going to save filmmakers a lot of time as well. You know, amateur filmmakers, this is going to save you so much time or people trying to become professional filmmakers. I mean, look at this, okay? We've got analyze script, okay? So for example, you can say new import media, then you have a script, okay? And remember, many videos are scripted out. So essentially what you have is you have a script. So for example, maybe you've got a movie, maybe you've got a short film, and then when you put the short script in it's going to generate the storyboard so you can see it gives you what kind of shots that you should be taking so for example this is so useful if you're creating a short film and you don't know which kind of shots to take and you can see right here it says golden hour and this is really cool because this is giving you the color grading that you're going to need to do and remember with the recent software that was just recently announced within this you're going to be able to just simply get one prompt and simply change it to that and you can see right there it's able to give you every single kind of shot that you need a close-up this kind of shot and here this is really really effective i mean people who are not going to be that great at making films and visualizing stuff this is going to be simply easy because you can simply click and you can simply make your previs just like that i mean that is absolutely incredible so I mean, there's a lot to discover and there's a lot to discuss. I mean, Adobe Firefly for video is absolutely insane. And I want to show you guys some of the stuff because a lot of people have compared this to mid journey, but I do think that this is honestly going to be game changing software. And I think that anyone that does use this is honestly going to be very impressed because I don't think that there's any other software on the market right now that is going to even shoot for what Adobe is going to be capable of doing. So let's take a look at some of the comparisons between mid journey and Adobe, because of course, Adobe is still in beta and I want to show you exactly how powerful Adobe is compared to some of the narrow AI specific tools for certain things. So one of the key things that Adobe have added is image generation. And you can see on the left, this is Adobe's and on the right is mid journeys. And take a look at these two examples here. You can see that Adobe is currently struggling with certain aspects of the AI race simply because they are trying to not plagiarize work. So all of the work that Adobe use in their image generation software is essentially royalty free, meaning that they didn't take any artists work into, you know, training the model, which I guess some artists would actually like, because of course you wouldn't like your work to be taken without your credit. And then of course being used and sold on without your knowledge. And then of course here, you can see that this is a samurai robot with uh, an Adobe Firefly image prompt. And I do honestly want to say that the Adobe Firefly software is more easy to use than mid journeys confusing prompts that you can see right here which are not that confusing but they just don't bold well in the sense that they're trying to create a very nice image generation program now you can see right here this is what mid journey was able to create with the same prompt and honestly it's just out of this world this is breathtaking so i mean i think that we are at a stage where it's actually good for us to have this competition i mean adobe of course is still working ethically on things which of course is what they should do and is what these companies should do but i find that it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to get these models even better because if we take a look at what mid journey is able to do with a simple prompt and then if we take a look at what adobe is doing with the same prompt we can see that adobe is a little bit behind now i think in the future um all of these ai 